Uh, looks like we only got AI. All right. Well, everybody, uh, what is up? Scape211 here as usual. Today we are looking at Aegis. And this is my first match playing Aegis. I'm going to do it on my main account. I'll throw my build up. Um, I'm not using a fully max build. I'm using a six star build with disc launchers. Um, if you guys don't know, Aegis got a massive change, which I think is potentially a big buff. Um, when uh, when they were talking about this changes, I wasn't sure, but this feels pretty incredible or so it seems. Yeah, I, don't, I can't tell. Oh, no, that was my own teammate. OK, I was going to say if somebody was hitting me with discs, I certainly didn't feel it. Um, yeah, you can see the, the health bar there. All right, so if you don't know it, Aegis's uh, dome got changed. Uh, now it is one that friendly fire can go through it, but it has a health bar. Now, when they talked about doing this to the partners, I was just like, ooh, I don't know about that because historically shields have not been that big. Come on, dude, how could you not kill that? And he killed you. You should have stayed in my dome. What are you doing? Um, oh, okay. Um, historically, that is, uh, you know, Shields have been not not super buff, but this shield is pretty whopping. All right, um, it will scale with your Aegis. I think it starts at about 80k and goes up to 750k. That is huge for a shield. All right, now this shield it seems like so from what I'm playing here, even at this level, is not invincible. But dang, it can take some good hits. It seems like it can take some solid hits. All right, let's see how it does against it. Oh, I thought I was outside of that. All right, let's trigger this one. Okay, yeah, so it works with the um, with the mines, um, and uh, we'll have to see how it does against mortars. I haven't really, you know, had that experience yet. Um, I also haven't had, like, EM shots hit it, um, but this is also just my first match using it. So, you know, I, I don't really have much to, uh, to go by at the moment. Oh, man. Oh, I didn't put it up fast enough. I put it down, but I was not quick enough. He got me. Yeah, I, honestly, though, for a first start, like the idea of being able to shoot through it and it being pretty sturdy seems a flippin' amazing. Like, it's crazy how different Aegis feels now. That's an easy one. All right. Well, you got it. Um, as, as opposed to before. It's crazy good. Whoa. OK. Um, I uh, I honestly I, I mean, depending on how it goes and, and it feels at different stages, he definitely seems like he's meta worthy now, like I, I don't know if I'm going to say he's necessarily a top five mech because he's epic and he may have some shortcomings, but it is it is a high potential. I mean, just in, in my experience of this match, oh, gosh, it seems very, very good. Oh, I, I over I got overly aggressive there. My bad. But honestly, we're so far ahead. Doesn't really matter. <laughs> Um, I do want to play uh, on my alt account where my Aegis is four stars. Um, I am probably hitting close to, if not fully, nearly max bots on this account. And with a not fully maxed Aegis, um, it's not doing too bad. Oh, man. And they're shooting through that. It was That's good. I mean, bad for me, but good for them. Oh, man. And it's a uh, hemlock. Oh, my gosh. I do not li like seeing that mech in the bot's hands. It is not a good sight to see for sure. Come on, walk out here. I don't want to get close enough for you to see me and hit me with that daze thing. So I'm going to... Okay, there we go. Um, overall, I mean, like, just in this first match, this first showing, uh, I mean, we didn't do, like, anything amazing with it, but it held really well. Uh, and I uh, really just wanted to see how it felt on its initial run. Very good. I mean, as you can see, good numbers already. I'm sure if I get used to it a little bit more and play Aegis more, because I'm not a super Aegis player, uh, it would seem even more powerful. It seems pretty solid. But let's try it at its natural star rating to see how well that shield holds up. Oh, we hit a player on this one. All right. That's nice. We might be able to get a good test out of it. All right. I'll put my build up for this one. I'm using the VRPGs. Uh, I actually, I don't remember when, but just from one of the dailies, I got a legendary damage VRPG implant. So mine are hitting pretty good right now. Not too bad. Yo! Oh my gosh, dude. I thought you were going to knock me right into the acid pool. Come on, man. No need for that. All right. You know, I was going to protect both of us, but you walked away from me. And you almost killed me anyway, so good luck with you, stinking guy. All right. Um, I mean, it's still going to be great for beacon capping. Uh, I think, obviously, if there's a lot of activity on it, the shield could get taken down. And it probably depends on, like, when you're thinking of high end play. 
He might not be quite as good at that because his shield won't stand like super oppressive fire. But uh, I still think in general combat, he's gonna be way more useful. And he's gonna be easier for the AI to use so that you don't have them blocking all of your shots with friendly um, stuff. I mean, I do think he loses like his uniqueness and that part I don't like. Uh, I do feel like Aegis has, has been a unique type of mech. And I I don't know how that didn't track that either. Okay. Uh, and I've, I've always appreciated that about him. Um, so he's losing some of that uh, in the in the face of... Oh, okay. I thought I was going to have enough shield to trigger those. We'll go this way. And then we'll wait for our shield to come back and try and trigger those. Um, so I don't know. I mean, in that sense, I don't like it because very high-end play, like in real 5v5... He might lose some application. Um, I don't have that to test yet, but it could happen that way. Uh, that was inside. Okay, I thought I, I thought I hit that outside. Come on, go off. Uh, I think one of those got me. The other one didn't. But what a pain. I didn't position that the best, but you know. Honestly, though, for how well he's been working uh, between this and my other account, this I don't want to say it's as good as Panther because it's not as good as Panther's uh, fence. Um, for, you know, how much extra application Panther has, but, like, the idea of a shield that's, even though it's not invincible, very sturdy like this, I mean, it has a lot of potential, just like his did. So, I would say now, if you, if you don't have an Aegis and you're in tier 6, this is a good get. Oop, okay. There was the player. I thought he was below me, actually, at first. Uh, I can't reach those, yeah. Get this guy. I was going to say, he's not even shooting at me. I was waiting for him so I could put up the dome, but I didn't want to use it. He had the ember gun, so we're good there. Yeah, I mean, second match here, performing better already, and I'm hitting a player too. So very happy with his performance overall. Oh, I thought that other one would have hit. That's okay. He can't hurt me anyway. There we go. That was a Ares disc launcher. Not a bad build. But we were able to command it quite well. Here he comes again. Uh, VRPGs. Oh, on a Redox. Interesting. And I'll just put up the shield again. I'm, I'm actually surprised he's not even trying to hit it. Oh, I wonder if that was in my range and it would have hit me. But I think his shield might still protect you from radius stuff, like an EMP blast uh, or or the Redox, right? Maybe? I think it can dodge from that. That's pretty incredible. I I think this is insanely powerful now. And I'm wondering if it also, like, will... I, I'll have to test this. If it'll still... Um, oh, I thought that last shot would have hit that guy. Uh, with the fence that was just there. No. Oh, we got him. All right. Uh, with the fence that we had there... Um, if it actually changes the positioning of the fence. It looks like it does, because it's going around it. I think it might. So it seems like it still has the same properties as before, defensive properties, but just now has an HP bar and you can shoot through it. That is nuts. Oh no, it's a guardian. Okay, got me. Here we got him. Oh no, yeah. I, I was trying to um, hit my button there. I mean, hit my ability, but I wasn't fast enough. I'm still on cooldown. But still, that was that was good. He lasted me most of this match, and we still got the lead. Um, so shouldn't be a problem keeping it. Come on, guy. There we go. Yeah, we got this one. Surprised we didn't hit 100 before that countdown happened, but that's all right. Yeah, look at that. Oh my gosh, this guy is really, really good right now. I think he is. Uh, definitely a massive improvement. Um, almost arguably too much. Like, I don't want to say that because I'm I'm happy with it. But uh, you guys can let me know what you think. If you think it was good, overtuned, do you like it, not like it, feel free to comment below. And we will see you out there on the battlefield.